Is a blessed rain even possible? We have not had a blessed rain on our server, Soul Siphon, since the new blessed rain mechanic came to Diablo Immortal. Now, this is the what second attempt at a alliance going at the blessed rain attempt, and we're going to jump straight into it right now. So this is actually pre-recorded on my phone. Um, shout out to everyone that you see on here. Uh, this is basically the attempt at uh, going into a blessed rain. Now, if you're not aware, a blessed rain consists of going into a uh, full seven weeks of holding your immortal rain. And then on going into the eighth week, you have to do this right here, which is, of course, the uh, challenge of the immortal. Well, not challenge of the immortal, but the um, in doing this, this battle actually does not matter whatsoever for the blessed rain. Win or lose, and you're going to see some um, spectator bugs here, which was a little obnoxious because I ran into several issues with this. So just excuse it while it happens but you can see at least the bodies fighting and all the death and carnage going on but um this fight the right of exile on week seven going into week eight doesn't matter at all because even if the immortals win they have to do the challenge of the immortal and in order to get the blessed rain they have to win the challenge of the immortal which is the 30 v 1 um as the immortal now if you are not up to date with the drama on my server and or just the alliances or whatever it is we have a four alliance correlation coalition that um sort of rotates the three alliances that take uh the immortal now there is also and i want to make sure i do justice to everyone else involved there are some very strong other alliances um, that i won't name by name but you know who i'm talking about who also contend to be the immortal on those sort of off weeks um so Voiz, uh, shout out to her. She is a very, very, very active person and just a beautiful human being that helps literally anyone in need. We're on her for a while now. She's on the Crusader and she is just straight up popping off. Um, but anyway, so this fight, technically, like I said, doesn't matter. I, towards the end of this individual fight, I start bouncing around to other battles because there are other battles going on. I believe there are eight different battles going on. So the, immortal has to, the Immortals had to fill between the three alliances eight different teams to go against all of the top shadow here you go um one two three four five is that right no way yeah eight there you go <clears throat> so you can see all the different alliances um of shadows that are going against the immortals and they have to win basically all but they can only lose one on the seventh going into the eighth week in order to win the right of exile uh, which is a very hard challenge to do nonetheless but um Again, even win or lose, it's just for, sort of for bragging rights and to mess up everyone else's predictions because ultimately you go into the challenge of the immortal anyway. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, we ran into so many bugs in doing this uh, recording and this is recorded on my phone which is why it looks the way that it does i am currently like i said bouncing around to different fights so shout out to everyone that you see if you see your name in it let me know in the comments below if you saw yourself in these fights again all of these were very very competitive for the most part uh, this is another uh shadow overthrow um going to happen so they're pushing very very well um but even the ones that are let's say less stacked um the immortals are still trying you know what i mean like no one is just rolling over dead even on the ones where it's like wow like shadows are just killing it like the immortals are still trying and vice versa so it's really cool to see that shout out again to voice um i just want this is my my clan bxs that was going up against their immortal uh counterparts so i was of course bouncing back to them as much as i could and they did win and destroy the uh ancient heart and now like i said i bounce around to everyone else um so you can see we've got that got the prediction rewards love it there actually ironically i don't think i bet on our own alliance which is very awkward but Voice got MVP, so that's good, right? Oh, mint <laughs> notifications there. But anyway, um, the other thing, I had to double check to make sure I was still recording, which is what I'm getting at here, because believe it or not, I did not record the 30v1. <laughs> So unfortunately, like I said, I ran into so many spectator bugs, even after the Immortals lost this Rite of Exile. Um, they went into the challenge of the mortal but almost everyone had a hard time viewing it i finally figured out that you had to like close the game and reopen it in order to spectate so i caught majority of it and so in the uh 
you know, right of the or challenge of the immortal. The immortal is the one against 30. And if you haven't again seen the rest of the drama on my channel, there was a either a bug or working as intended uh exploit, you could call it, where the immortal could use one of the new paragon trees and just be a monster. Um, I think it's the juggernaut tree. And they, they adjusted it. You can still use the tree, but you don't get all of the benefits. I want to say they took out one of the talents. I don't remember it offhand, but I know they didn't make as much adjustments as we originally thought. I got absolutely torched on the video that I talked about this because everyone was like, oh, Misery, if you were in this, <laughs> if you were in this rain, you wouldn't have said anything. False. Obviously, you don't know me well. Um, if there's a bug in the game or something that's impacting the vast majority of people, I don't care if it benefits me or not. I'm going to report it. But even though I stand outside of this correlation coalition um, for this go around, by the time I had reported it, they were already well aware and working on a fix. So not my fault <laughs> but it got fixed nonetheless um i also have never seen this which was pretty cool you get additional little rewards for supporting either the immortals or the shadows which was pretty awesome um and so in the right of the uh challenge of the immortal the 30v1 the immortal um you know has to win that in order to get the blessed rain and why is the blessed rain important that is the only way you have to unlock several blessed rains in order to get some of the new cosmetics and the um, fully extended cloak, which is pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. So this would be the first attempt. Again, unfortunately I don't have the video footage because God, there was just an abundance of issues when I was trying to record it. Um, so uh, it was a insane fight. The Immortal did a great job of moving around the map as much as possible, waiting for cooldowns and only engaged in the shadows when they had all their cooldowns up. So they would jump, they would run around the whole field. And then when their cooldowns were up, they would jump in the middle of the cluster of shadows and just do massive amounts of damage. Um, so much to the point that the Immortal, like after there was only like two or three minutes remaining and the Immortal still had like 70% health. It was actually kind of insane how much damage or lack thereof that the Immortal had taken in this 30v1. So how to, shout out to him because he's actually on my friends list. He is him. <laughs> Um, but again, shout out to everyone on this. Again, everyone fought really, really well. It was really cool to watch it all. And then I still am so upset that I didn't get the recording. Uh, well, it, I couldn't record the Challenge of the Immortal. So any Challenge of the Immortal, you won't believe it. The Immortal, even after the nerf, seemed unkillable. It came down to the time expiring, I think, or killing all the necessary shadows. It more or less happens at the same time um, where their shadows were just slowly getting worn down by the Immortal, but the Immortal still had so much health by the end of it. I don't think they even broke 50% health by the time it ended. And yes, the Immortals did win that fight, which means that they got the Blessed Rain. Congratulations to everyone who got the Blessed Rain. They did, we did actually see it first because last time there was an attempt, there was a bug that wouldn't even allow the immortal to even enter the fight resulting in it just automatically losing so this was the first real attempt at the immortals going for a blessed rain um, even though I'm a little sad that I wasn't part of this rain again it was not our turn in terms of our four alliance coalition um, and I'm so excited for everyone that did get the benefits and got the blessed rain that was it's so epic and I can't wait to see all those bigger and better cloaks um, out in the world so congratulations to everyone that won and then at the very end of that fight the immortal wins and then starts to get the crown it's like a cutscene starts to get the crown back and a random shadow just comes out and kills the immortal so you have this immense massive battle of 30 v1 and then out of nowhere this little shadow just comes out and kills the immortal with like a little dagger and then the immortals go and do the 3v3 v3 v3 because even though it's a blessed rain it doesn't matter because the little shadow person kills it which i thought was like incredibly anticlimactic considering all of these shadows couldn't beat the immortal but as soon as the immortal gets ready to take its crown back it just gets its neck like poke and you're dead so anyway congratulations to everyone and congratulations to vamp one who was the immortal and was able to defeat the um and get the blessed rain which is pretty sick in the challenge of the immortal again sorry i don't have the, the the actual recording for that lots and lots of issues but super excited that someone on our server has gotten a blessed rain and very proud that it was our um alliance coalition let me know if you guys have any blessed rains on your server or if anyone has been able to obtain them also i'm really curious for those of you that have seen the challenge of the immortal after the the uh, nerfs if you call it to the juggernaut paragon tree 
is it still needed to be nerfed because i was very surprised how little damage the immortal took let me know what you think in the comments below guys again i'm looking forward to the next round of reigns even if i'm not immediately partaking in it i really enjoy sort of the drama back and forth and the fights between the immortal and the shadows so i look forward to taking part where i can and or spectating where i cannot so let me know what you think about all these topics in the comments below guys and until next time i hope to see you in the video soon